Welcome back, everyone. We just finished reading this wonderful story about a family that goes hiking on a beautiful autumn or fall day up into the mountain or Hickory Hill. Along the way, the little girl was letting us see toads and we saw a chipmunk and the chipmunk was eating a hickory nut and they really like acorns. And as you can see, acorns come in all different sizes and shapes. Here's a long skinny one. But the hickory nut, let me find my hickory nut. The hickory nut's a little bit bigger and it's harder for the chipmunk and squirrel to get into because on the tree, it is protected by a very heavy uh, seed coating. And so first, the squirrel or the chipmunk has to break this to get into the nut. And that's what they eat. So here are some of the other things that she could have seen out in the field as she was going up to the um, mountain. Pumpkins and gourds and Indian corn. And if you were noticing in the book, she was also looking at a um, one of the bushes had some bright red berries on it. So during the autumn, different things start their berries start turning colors. This is a pyracantha. This is a poke berry. And this is a, a wild rose. While these are very pretty and they're good for birds to eat, they're not good for humans to eat. So when you're out hiking or playing, you don't eat the things that you find outside. You only eat the things that mom or dad give you or your you know grandmoms or grandpops or babysitters um, these are for the birds they're not for little kids so today we're going to make our own autumn tree and we're going to be using two ways of painting we're going to use our paintbrush to paint the tree, but we're going to use a cotton ball to paint our leaves. Now I have used four different autumn colors and I've kind of blended my colors in and I've got them on the tree and I've got some that have already fallen down onto the ground. Fun to run and jump into. You can make your tree any color you'd like it to be. If you only want it to be red, fine. If you only want it to be yellow, that's great. It's your tree, so you decide. If you want one color, two colors, three colors, four colors, however many colors you want, that's your tree, so you make it the way you want to make it. So what I've done is I've put a little bit of my colors here in my pie um, palette. You can use like a little plate and you only need a little bit of the paint. You don't need very much of it at all. And so we're going to use paint brushes to paint our trunk and branches of the tree. And then to paint the rest, the leaves, we're going to use a cotton ball and a clothespin. So hopefully we won't be too messy doing our painting project today. So first we're going to start, I'm using a fatter brush to paint the trunk because that's the, that's the sturdy big part of the tree. So remember you can, this is your tree, you can make it short, you could make it tall, you can make it skinny, you can make it big and round, you can 
make it crooked because not all trees grow straight. Now I'm going to change and use my smaller brush to paint in the branches. And you can paint as many branches as you like. Some trees, like the weeping willows, their branches kind of like bend down like that. And other trees like the oaks and the maples and the pines, their branches are a little taller and straighter, but they also make big designs and some of them get curvy and twisted around. And you don't have to be real perfect on your branches because you're going to mainly be covering them with your leaves. If you don't have brown paint, you could use a marker to put in your tree branch to make your tree, or you could use crayons to make your tree. And then once you think you have a good shape for your tree, Then we get to put in the leaves. Now, I only am going to be using one cotton ball today, and I'm going to move it around, but you can definitely use more than one cotton ball. And so I think that this is a good enough start for my tree. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to very simply and very easily and very quickly, I'm going to take my cotton ball that is inside my little pincher clothespin and I'm going to dab it in. I'm going to go from light colors to dark colors. So I'm going to start with my yellow. And the reason I'm doing that is, like I said, I only have the one cotton ball. So if I started with the red, it would, I, I would not be able to really get a true yellow later. But starting with the yellow, the darker color will cover it over if I have to, and it'll still come out red. So I just have a little bit. You don't want very much. And all you're gonna do is this. Plop it down. Choose where you're going to have yellow. And the first place that you put the yellow, it'll have a little bit more paint. So you want to go back, dab that in. And I want some yellow leaves down here on the ground also. And so here's my yellow. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my gold. And because gold is just a, a slightly darker yellow, I'm going to go ahead and put it in where I had the yellow paint. So now it just looks like it's gold. So now I'm going to go in and blot around, dab or blot in where I'm going to have my gold leaves. And so you can have a few leaves or you could have lots of leaves. So see, here now I have my gold leaves. And I think I'll add one more gold one right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. And if I grab the part where it was pinched and then I use my pincher and come up and pinch where my paint was, I didn't make a mess at all. So now I'm going to go in with my orange 
and add orange leaves all over my tree. And I'm getting more and more colors there. I think one more orange. And now, as you can see, my tree is starting to fill out. I could leave it like this if I was going to say, well, the wind has blown a lot of my leaves out of my tree already. And they're down here on the ground. But I think I'm going to go a little farther and I'm going to add some red. So I'm just going to, where my orange was, dip into my red and it'll show you that that darker color is the one that still comes out okay. So that's why you start with your light colors and go into your dark colors. And when you think that you have all the colors, all the leaves on your tree that you want, then you are done. And there's my new masterpiece. Have fun making your masterpiece.